Morning all. I'd like to show you a facility on Chess Bowl which you may not be aware. Uh, it's the rated puzzle section. Now if you're a full member you can go to improve puzzles and get quite a comprehensive uh, search form for finding puzzles. Uh, but this link is also accessible for guest members but it will go directly to the rated puzzle system. So the rated puzzle system has got quite a reasonable allowance on it at the moment for guest members. You can try up to 10 rated puzzles a day. So it will give a, a list of these puzzle ideas which you haven't tried before. Uh, so let's see how well I can do. If I click through 04, you can select drag and drop if you want. I'll stick with click and click for the moment. So here I guess rook takes h7 might be a useful forcing move for queen h5 and rook d7. Let's, let's try this. Let's try drag and drop if streaming. Okay, so rook d7, and let's go with queen f7. If you like the puzzle, by the way, you can share an unrated version of the puzzle. Uh, let's go on to another. So a lot of puzzles are like forcing moves. So here, okay, this diagonal looks dangerous for knight f4. Let me just see knight f4 for some reason, then queen f4. Okay, knight d4, don't think that does anything. Rook d2 for knight f4. Okay, knight g5, queen g5. Hmm, bishop g2, it just takes the queen. I wonder, knight f4, queen f4, there's nothing there. So these can be quite tricky. This is this is looks like a quite a tricky one. Um, queen f1 is not doing anything. Rook d2 I don't think is doing anything. If queen d d2 queen f3, but bishop d2 and then what? The knight g5 queen g5. That's still not useful for anything, surely. Hmm. So this this is a very tricky one. Maybe just queen h5 for queen h3. I could try queen h5. It's not the correct move. Um. <laughs> oh, let's try rook d2. So there's bishop d2. Just guessing here. I wonder what would have happened on bishop d2. Because now, okay, queen f3, and there's a little thing. But rook d2, let's have a quick look at rook d2. Um, okay, hang on a sec. So rook d2, bishop takes d2. What was the matter with that? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it was a blunder from white. Hang on, there's an explanation here. Bishop takes d2. Ah. Now there's knight g5 for knight h3 for mating. Um, now what if like queen takes g5 here? What would happen here? Queen takes g5. Oh, I guess queen f3. Ah, oh, queen f3. Oh, that's a brilliant. That's a really good puzzle. Um, so if you want to share this puzzle with friends, you just click share. And you can just take this tiny URL and like uh, you know tweet it or whatever. Uh, so feel free to share any decent like puzzles. So let's let's go on to another one. That was that was really really tricky. So I had to get assistance there, uh, which is a shame. Uh, now here d6 like stands out for knight d5. Uh, okay, we're on click and click. D6 knight d5. Okay, what about rook d6 for knight f5? Or just knight f5? What happens if knight f5? Where does the bishop go? It's a bit embarrassed, isn't it? So you get that kind of uh, music as well. You get a kind of rating performance on how quick uh, you are on these. Okay. Okay, what about queen g6? Is that doing king g6 then what? It's all idea of knight f8. Maybe rook f6, queen f3. I think rook f6, queen f3. No, not the correct move. Okay, let's not guess this. 
<laughs> queen c3 because then king f7 queen g7 i think queen c3 might be it now queen g7 the knight's holding d8 all right so let's go on to another one um okay queen f1 for okay one doesn't that look like a back row kind of disaster all right now here b2 i think is stronger one. Okay. Uh let's go again. So um I'm not entirely convinced that being brilliant at finding forcing moves will definitely improve your results. It will probably help, but there's other things in chess, you know, opening for your end game, you know, positional play. Forcing moves are not everything, but it's very, very useful to see them. Uh here, like rook f eight, queen f eight, rook f seven for bishop f six. No, this bishop diagonal. Um, queen g8, king g8, bishop e7. What about bishop e7? Rook f6 doesn't do anything. Rook f7. Interesting. Know, taking. It's not taking, is it? To start off with. Just guessing that. Okay. Um, could it be bishop e7 that threatens rook f8? Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Stop guessing. Okay. Rook h7, king h7, hmm. queen c3 doesn't do anything, queen e6, or four. no, queen e6, queen e6, rook f8, queen e6 is dangerous. Ah, I fought for rook f8, but it's not the correct move. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is tricky, to say the least. Uh, Rook f8 for queen e6? I doubt it. Uh, bishop g3 to distract the bishop from this diagonal. That's a forcing move. Which might be useful. Ah, oh, that is the move. Because it if takes then like check would have been lethal. Okay, now here, what about Bishop e5 is almost uh useful. Okay, rook. What about rook g7 for bishop e f no <laughs> it's again it's again really tricky oh hang on the rook's hanging so can we just take the queen and take the rook yeah, let's take the queen and take the rook okay uh rook g7 knight g7 queen f7 and then we've got rook g8 i think i mean qu queen f8 so some positions I get quite quickly, some others I don't. Uh, I don't know if it's okay. Puzzle difficulty. So queen e6. You can assume it doesn't do anything. Queen e5 threatens mate. Knight b5. I mean queen e5 is strong. Let's not guess it though. Knight b5, queen b8, king d7. So anything about that which is interesting. Uh, rook d4, queen d4, queen e6 is, is more convincing. There's no knight b5 resource which gives king d7. So I think rook d4, queen e6. Okay. Now I think about knight d5 threatens knight b6. Isn't that just crunching? Oh! thought it would be. Okay. Actually, queen a6 takes bishop a6 is mating. Queen a6 is difficult to meet. Probably bishop a6 is difficult to meet as well for queen c6. So which is stronger? I'm with bishop a6 because it gives that nasty pin. Okay, queen a6. Nope. Oh, forcing it with checks. Queen c6. Okay, implementation. Implementation. It was, the concept was there about using the, the two bishops, but it's just like the implementation was quite weak to start off with when I thought, okay, queen c3, king takes, knight e4. Looks as though that's pretty horrible. That's basic forcing moves there. Um, okay, so I know queen g7. I've seen this before. This is biased. I've seen this before. I have to admit, I've just posted this. Um, sorry, I still get it wrong to Facebook recently. Uh, knight f6 for knight e8. Was there, was there something stronger? Now I've forgotten actually. Um, in this position, 
Oh, knight d5, knight d5 to win the queen. So that's taken from an actual game there. Cares against Spassky. Cares against Spassky. Okay, so. Uh, queen e4, bishop e4. Given the queen's hanging, I think queen e4 is less, the less outrageous in this position. I think mean, that's the only decent forcing move, actually. So we'll go with knight g6 here. Okay, so knight e7 or knight f8. I think knight f8 is tempting. Then go back for the check. And then go to e7 and then knight c6, maybe? Nope. <clears throat> now knight h8, king h8, knight f8, king. What do we want to do here? Interesting. Knight e f oh, of course, knight e5 for knight f7, knockout blow knight f7. Okay, so let's see, rook h8, king f7. What about g6 to stop that? Queen g6. Queen g6, then so what? What? Knight g5, knight g5. I think rook h8, king f7. Oh, G G six. I think G six. Ah, oh, G six. The start off with his dangerous queen G six. Then queen C four, D five. I'm at queen C four, queen C four, G six. It's D five. Queen G seven. King takes rook check. I mean that's quite dangerous. Uh -oh. Ah. Ah. Oh no, the king would escape like that. Okay, um, it's really not g6. Okay, I'm guessing here g6. Uh -oh. Nope, it's not queen c4 for g6. Knight e5 takes queen c4, queen c4, g6. It can't be like that, can it? That's pretty advanced stuff. Knight e5 covers f7. Let's go with knight e5. Now this this one is worth sharing because <laughs> it's ridiculous just to get g6 in. Takes some g6. No, not that's not quite the idea. Our uh, g6 here, queen g6, queen c4 for rook h8. So the idea is to get that pawn away from the d5 resource. Because now rook f7, queen uh, rook h8 there. Yeah, so some of these are very, very tricky. Um, okay, uh, e takes or rook f7. We're threatened with mate. So let's go with quick checks. Bishop g6. Nope. Knight h4. Knight, no, we're going to get mated. Okay, h3 to start off with or something. Or bishop g6. Hmm, h3, queen g3, then what? Let's try bishop g6 just to see. That's not the first move, surely. And queen h6 stops the mate. Queen h6. Okay, let's go with h3. Nope. Intriguing. Oh, rook f7 gives the king an escape for a moment. So that might be plausible. Okay, because there is an escape on f1. But here, e takes, surely we're getting mated still. Took there. So what about just bishop g6 here for queen d3 or something? So queen d3 here. And now? Well, knight e4 looks dangerous. And, um, I think queen f5 and knight e4, king g6. So knight e4 looks dangerous. Nope. Oh, what about just bishop c1? Bishop c1. Okay, I think we're on the right track here. Now, queen f5, I think, is mating for queen f7, queen d7. All right. Anyway, so you get the idea. Some very, very difficult puzzles in there. Uh, so you might want to check that out on Chessworld if if you remember it's worth checking out the improved menu and then puzzles uh, and then you can it will go into this rated puzzle system and you can actually it also scans your weaknesses um, so because each of the, the puzzles had these tags so you can like scan um, 
you know where you had a relatively lower performance um, well, it gives an idea of some of the motifs anyway um, some of the ideas okay so uh, yeah I hope uh, you might try that out comments or questions on YouTube thanks very much